Hello and welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077 and playing Oddball. We are down and out of the city, out of here, after helping ourselves to information from this Hellman and that was actually not too promising. But well, maybe the guy here, Nakamura, can find out something from this guy. Well, and we need to meet with Elizabeth Perales now. Now that we are out here now, let's do this gig. There was also someone. But I think like it doesn't have to do anything with the other. One one thing doesn't have to do anything with the other. Um, so we're just doing the gig here. Yeah, yeah, no, it's completely, it doesn't have anything to do with this phone call. So there's a veteran guard there. Aha, there. Hey v, I have some new work for you. A certain item needs to be salvaged from the landfill before some gonks chop it to pieces. I've attached some more details for you. Okay. Thievery, retrieve data from broken training bot. There's this kid, folks call him Joe, Red Joe. Now, this Joe kid has talent, knows his hooks and jabs. I swear he could knock a horse's teeth out. Point is, kids got what it takes to go pro. Problem is, coaches aren't easy to come by in the Badlands. But lo and behold, word is a next-gen sparring bots landed in a scrapyard there, still in working order. That city folk for you. Second, a piece of tech glitches, it gets tossed out in the strat, in the trash, soft included. Anyway, back to the bot, find it and download its software before they recycle it into metal straws or whatever it is and see people like. P.S. Oh, and one more thing. The guy that runs the landfill, watch out for him. Real piece of work. Okay. That's actually interesting. And a cool, a cool little thing here. Let's gain the high ground on this container. So what do we see? There is... So, ah, yeah, there are... Well, these are actually... So they don't seem to be gang-related, these guys, huh? Just regular security guards. There's a fence that we can break through, I guess. Okay. So we are still in our good tactical outfit here. Yeah, and it is very smelly. Oh, by the way, what was that? Ah! Oh, we have 20% now. Clock's ticking. It looks like two personalities in one brain is not only mad, but mad. mad. Mutually assured destruction. There's got to be some way to stop the process and it needs to be found quick. Hmm. I wonder what would have happened if we just had popped the pill and would not, not have talked with Johnny. But I feel that the guy is actually not nice. Yeah. He's not nice. There's something orange there. So let's break the fence. It's all very dark here. That, but that's actually a good thing for us in this situation. Just there. Oh, someone saw us. Okay, well, I guess, well, it's certainly not the most pleasant thing to go through such a dump yard here, a trash yard. Let's... There's someone there, okay. Um, well, let's bait that guy. I don't can hammer out the body, no problem, but the engine won't pull. Needs a new crankshaft. Someone around here, someone. Over there, by the fence. Seriously? Huh? Come on. There, and let's do a memory wipe. And let's take him down. Without violence. What? Another one? Oh, that's actually, that's not so good. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. Okay, good. Let's take the body. Taking the guy and putting him here, back here. I don't want to make such a fuss about this whole thing here. There. And 
there was something here, a broken tire iron. Uh -huh. Okay. Well. Yeah, that's that's the guy. That's a worker. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, it's basically. We don't want to be seen here. Jody, mm -hmm. thanks for this bouquet meant to symbolize our love, you know, lasts forever, non-biodegradable, that sort of thing. Uh, haha, who knows where the road will lead us. So you like it? <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, uh, let's let's say this one here. Haha, -ha, who knows where the road will lead us. Judy Alvarez is typing. So so. All right, that's sweet. And there's another guy there. Okay, let's bait him again. And let's double bait him. I oh yeah, by the way, we never did that before. I never did that. Like, is he coming or not? Okay, well, apparently that didn't work out so well. Ah. There's another one. But oh, that's a floodlight. Okay. Mm. And this is where they press the cars or what? There. No, there. It's a surveillance camera. But there's a guy there. Oh well. Then let's use the camera. Turn off. And camera control. Oh, it doesn't work like that, okay. Then camera control now. Behind the boxes, oh yeah. Aha! A person, another security guard. Was this the, the guy? I guess so. I wonder how they pay for all the guards there. Turning that one off. Well, let's change the view over here. And we are back. The game crashed again. However, I found something and looked. Uh, at Google for the um, keywords steam crashing in 2024 and maybe things run better so over here there thanks for this bouquet I am this bouquet meant to symbolize our love you know lasts forever non biodegradable biodegradable degradable that sort of thing haha <laughs> who knows where the road will lead us I mean, Judy has has a crush, huh? So, so. Kiss, kiss. She has a crush on us now. Yeah, and I mean, it's very sweet. There was never before the word love. However, there's a person. Ah, that's the guy, okay. Oh. Yeah, here, let's bait him. So maybe things are more stable now, who knows. So I needed to repair steam itself and then i verified all game files of all my installed games and let's see and cyberpunk actually did there you go oh quite the surprise huh buddy double wipe and there you will not remember anything just no oxygen for your brain there you go. Well, uh, let's, let's bring this guy over there before they find him. Actually, we can't run, we can't dash. So, well. <coughs> and uh, also, like, clearing the download cache, although I didn't really download anything. But well, who knows what's happening. 
Oh! There's something. When did we overlook that? A croissant, alright. Oh, and well, we have too much stuff. Oh, by the way, sorry. Let me just save the game first. Cause orange things, right? So here. Um, what did we get there? A croissant. Like this one is a Shingen Smart. The Achilles. The Omaha pistol. Yeah, no. Oh! Chance to use an EMP blast when shooting an enemy with a fully charged weapon. That's pretty cool though. Oh, and this one here is the... Ah, uh, okay, just this one. Yeah. Um... Well, I would like to try that, actually. And this is sh the Shingen. Smart submachine gun. Don't we have one of those? This was the tech. And this here... Ah, yeah, that's also Shingen, but... Plus... Five plus. Minus 25% bullet spread from hip fire. Okay. But less effective range. Only 18. Yeah, but still. Let's take this one apart. Then uh, we have the smart sniper rifle that goes away because it's only blue. And this Omaha tech pistol. Ah! Ah! That's good. So we can take this one apart now. Because it's worse. Although this one has also the tech, uh, the, the EMP blast. So like that. So we just got an upgrade. Plus 27 effective range. This one has charge threshold to penetrate cover. Yeah, let's take that one apart. So there. Um, and we've got a lot of precision rifles. Tech, power. No, actually we don't. Yeah, those are sni our three sniper rifles, yeah. Okay, but by the way, here this here. Let's use that. And I, I think I want to f uh, use that. So this here is our sniper, so, and this here is the the power sniper rifle, right? So in principle, we don't need the other power. Oh no, we wanted to have this one for the extremely long range of 40. And the tech sniper rifle to shoot through obstacles, all right, no, then it's fine. All right, saving the game. By the way, did we, did we get any... Melee weapons, there was there was a club or something. I collected a tire iron. But this one is considered a club and this one is also a club. So let's take that one apart. Don't need so much of the same type. Oh and by the way I want oh yeah here in this katana. Off you go. Uh, I wanted to try out the hammer as well. But let's see. So. Aha! Uh -huh. What's that? There, ah, that's the training board. Oh yeah, very good. There. Oh, and that's it. Okay, so that was that was our target here. Okay. Well, I feel that we can actually check out the stuff a little bit. Oh, there's someone. And the camera was not off. Okay. Then you, we bait. There's no one here. Ready to wipe his memory. Aha! Double memory wipe. Yes. Oh, come on. So, there was another crash. Um, so, we got this guy here. Yeah, there. So, this is, this is the bot. Training bot manufacturer ever stale. System damaged by viral attack. We pulled the shot from the bot. Alright, now we have it. There's someone. And there's also... 
A camera. Let's turn off the camera. There is a person. Let's bait him. Someone in here? No. Okay, good. I didn't want to start a shootout here, actually. Oh, he's coming. I don't like it. Oh, yo, yo, memory wipe, double security guard. Fuck! Just updated my drivers. There you go, and let's end your oxygen supply for your brain, all right. So I think the crash occurred because I had the, the pistol in hand while taking him down. Maybe that was the reason, I don't know. So let's put the weapon away, saving the game. Let's check out what they have in here. So is anybody here? Because there is a computer, oh yeah, and they do have some stuff here. This is their office, or sort of office. Oh yeah, here. Tier 5 components, very good. Saint Rousseau. Yeah. What's that? Didn't I just, didn't I just see something to read? Yeah, there. Storm on the Mare Crisium. We already read that, but well, let's have a look. Again. So there, aha. Uh -huh. You can read it again if you want. Hit the pause. I don't, because we already read it, or I read it. And then we've got something called One Panko. Generates an air of mystery and an air of mustiness. Yuck. Yeah. Uh -huh. Euro dollars. Well, we never say no to Euro dollars. Jacking into their computer. What can we do? E9. BD. Do we have another BD? Yes, there are 55, another 55, and FF, and no E9, so 55, oh, no FF, and then this 55, FF, E9, oh yeah, that's good, okay then. And then B, so E9, BD, BD, 55, this 55, FF, and E9, right, yeah, they are nice, good, good, good. Got quick hacks and stuff, that's good. And well, what else do they have? Let's read it. Files, waste collection, Petrochem, Four Cisterns, St. Lawrence Hospital, Medical, Bio Waste, Night City Department of Sanitation, Waste from Home, the Settlement Liquidation, Arasaka Waterfront, 70 tons expired food, Night City Department of Sanitation, messages, waste collection from Michaela de Duois to Warbler Lake Hazardous Waste Facility. Hello, we have another shipment of reagents ready for disposal. Four cisterns, 10,000 gallons each. Category Nush S09, human health hazard. I trust we'll handle the matter like before. A promotional deal? Just make sure all the paperwork is where it should be in the pr event of inspection. We appreciate your flexibility concerning regulatory red tape. Best, Michaela Ledois, Regional Manager Petrochem. Mega Madison Watchery and I need your help. Dear good Samaritan. Okay, well, I guess they are actually like these people all being crooks. And I don't want to be too judgmental, but that's just our experience. They are just dumping the trash here and let it sip into the groundwater or something. Oh, there's a person there. In this surveillance camera. Why is this surveillance camera? Camera control. Let's go here. That another one we already checked them out and I thought I, I turned them off already but well what the guy saw us I want to check out that that building over there now so that's a veteran guard charge jar medium subdermal armor and flashbangs well so I am 
oh, it looks it looks closed. Oh, but we can force it open. I'm taking fire! Oh! Oh! A person! Come on, let's memory wipe you. That was the the bait grenade, huh? the recon grenade. Emits the sound that lures enemies. Lock on speed with what smart weapon? Yeah, okay. Oh, let's use this one. The gash anti-personal grenade. Okay, so. There you go. That hurts a bit, huh? We have an EMP blast. That's the MP blast, like the perfect oh, There was something. Good, gotcha. Okay, well then. So we had a shootout after all. I, I didn't even want that, but well, it's their fault, isn't it? The defender. It's their fault because... Well, they saw us and they didn't look aware. Oh, he's got a, a hammer. Was that a better hammer than what we have? Yes, it is. So then we can take this one away. The crit chance is something cool though. And the damage knockdown chance of stunned enemies makes the weapon lethal. Uh, this one's 215, 2 and 16 stamina costs. This one has stun chance and bleed chance. Oh well, I don't like this one, so let's take it apart. I like this hammer better, and let's have it actually. So, oh yeah. Eagler double barrel, don't need that in blue. And did we found, there were there was something something cool. Oh, that's, oh. The second Senko LX tech submachine gun ever, I think. Let's take it apart. Well, and at the circumstance, I, I could have, I could have used the hammer actually, but well, okay. Yeah, I didn't want to be so brutal. That wasn't that, that wasn't the intention. Wait, what is this? Why is there something red here? Whatever. All I wanted to do was like rob them a little bit. Medical forceps. Like, why would he have medical forceps here? I hope he didn't pull out his his grown-in toenails here. That's that would be quite disgusting. And what's that? That's there. Ah. And we can hack a little bit more. Good. And I'm glad. The game didn't totally crash yet, just this this half crash, like crash to desktop, but not crash the whole computer. So no FF here, but we've got several F7A, E9 is here, FF, have we another 7A, 55, FF, and E9. Oh yeah, very nice, that works. So 7A. F 7A 55 FF E9. So very good. And I'm also concentrated. That's good. No messing up the hacking because my short term memory doesn't work or something. So 
Well, what's this? Deposit the shard in the drop point. Here? No. Huh? Why, why, why is that there on the minimap? Yeah, no. And why, why is there something orange here? I know that's just our main target. Okay. So I guess we have found everything here. Except like here. Oh yeah, they have some uh, ammo. That's fine. I like to loot ammo. More euro dollars. Oh, we can also jack in here. Let's do that. And no one C, but we do have 55. No E9. So 55 E9. 7A. E9. 55. 1C, one 1C. One Very good. That works. Uh, here. Uh, huh? There. 9, 7A. E9, 55, 1C and 1C. There. Good. Nice. Maximum. Reboot optics. Alright. And then any waste collection. Yeah, that's already night, night city department. 70 tons expired food. Oh. Waste collection, yeah. Expired food. Well, they could have given it to the people who need it, huh? but instead they just let it rot. Second conflict flight jacket made as merch to advertise carry Eurodyne solo album. Punk short sleeve polycarbonate spike jacket. Good for maintaining a strong personal bubble in crowded areas. <laughs> so people, so people really keep their distance because it looks so well punk. All right. Well, then I think we are done here. Okay, then. That's just fine. Can we actually see more here on the mini on the general map? Not really. Oh, the light. Yeah, no, we are done here. I think right. Yeah, yeah that we checked out that building. Okay. Can we actually do something here with this one? Lift blockade. Oh yeah, it works. Oh. Oh. We found something. Oh, red project, red. How could you? How could you? Didn't you think that someone would open this here? How could you? Well, so then we are done here. Let's get out of here. We, we, we bet up all the people. Well, and then uh, let's jump on the roof here. Anything up there? Really okay then. So there. Well, let's let's whistle for our horse, the gecko. Gecko is coming. Come on, gecko. What's going on? And where's the drop point? Over there. Okay. It's also dark. So there. Gecko, you you took your sweet time there. Right, let's get out of here. No regrets. There then. Like so. Oh ah, well, sorry, sorry. Yeah, like that. And there's a drop-off point. That's not too far away actually. Oh, let's not crash into the car there. Where is it? Oh, you're just sleeping. Ah, here, there. Okay, deposit job item. No. Deposit job item. What the? There. I clicked the F button all the time, but well. So? I can't say that went exactly how I would have liked. But at least Red Joe has something to train with. And that's what matters. Contract closed. Yeah. Well, I wanted to make it uh, subtle, but well. I think in the end she doesn't really care. Hello, are you a hooker? Aren't you cold? 
I could warm you up. Oh, so you are. Okay, oh. no thanks. Oh, and she, like, what did you, oh, you should, whatever you guys did, you shouldn't, you know? Do you understand? But it's good that you're there for your friend. And remember, if she takes the contraception right now, she puked it out. So, remember that, yeah. Remember that. That they won't have safer zags now. All right then, so, and I think that concludes today's episode and then in the next one we are driving to the cyber cycle there and then we do the cyber cycle. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this one as well. As planned, we are keeping the episodes a little bit shorter due to all the crashes, but well, let's hope things are improving right now. Um, and at least we had a couple of minutes without crash, so that's not so bad. All right then, so many thanks. I hope you liked it. If you did, please do click the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done yet. Hit the bell so you never ever miss an episode again. And do share your thoughts, maybe even on the violence that we have seen today. What is your take? And then we will continue. Let's discuss stuff in the comment section. See you next time. Bye-bye. And many thanks for all your support.